So the printer is experiencing a jam. You might see a message on the control panel telling you the carriage or some paper is jammed in the printer. Let's walk through troubleshooting this issue together. First, turn the printer off and then on again. Press the power button once to turn it off and then again to turn the printer on. Sometimes the printer won't turn off. You may have to disconnect the power cable, reconnect it, and then turn the printer back on. Printers sometimes indicate false errors. Power cycling the printer can reset the print mechanism and clear these up. If the error is resolved, then we do not need to troubleshoot any further. If the error message displays again, we should check the paper path. Check the paper path from the back of the printer. Trying to clear jams from the front trays can cause damage to the printer, so always attack paper jams from the back. Turn the power off by disconnecting the power cord from the back of the printer while the printer is powered on. Remove the rear access door. Locate the tabs on both sides of the rear door. Press them inward and then pull the door away from the printer. If you can see paper jammed in the printer, gently remove it from the rollers. When possible, grab both edges of the jammed paper and pull with even pressure to prevent tearing. Make sure you remove all paper from the rollers, including small scraps, which might cause further jams. While you have the rear door removed, check the rollers on the door. Check for any missing rollers. They should roll freely and feel springy. If they are missing, locked up, or don't roll freely or have some give when you push on them, they can cause the paper to jam and the rear door should be replaced. Once all the paper is removed, reinstall the rear door. Align it with the printer and then push it forward until it snaps into place. Reinsert the power cord to the back of the printer. Turn the printer back on and then touch OK to resume the current job. If the error displays again, check the inside of the printer for additional jams. While we've removed this paper jam, I'd recommend checking the other areas I'll show you in just a moment to make sure there isn't paper or paper pieces that may cause carriage or paper jams in the future. To check the rest of the paper path, check for jams through the cartridge access door. Jammed paper in this area of the printer can cause the carriage to get stuck on one side or in the middle of the printer. You need to clear any jams and obstructions in the carriage path and then reset the printer. Here's how to check the rest of the paper path. Without turning the printer off, disconnect the power cord, USB, and Ethernet cables from the back of the printer. We'll reconnect them later, but set them aside for now. Note, it is important that the power is disconnected in this procedure. We do not want to damage the printer or ourselves with electric shocks. Open the cartridge access door by lifting the front center of the printer. Check where the carriage is stuck and look for jammed paper or other obstructions. Paper might be jammed anywhere along the carriage path, so make sure you check the entire length of the axis, including the carriage service station, all the way to the right. These sample pictures show paper stuck in the side of the printer that will cause future jams or other problems. Use a flashlight to check the areas inside the printer. Our next step is to try and move the carriage back and forth. There's one thing you'll want to be careful of as you do this. If the carriage is properly docked on the right side of the printer as shown here, do not try to force it to move when it is docked or you could break the printer. If it is not docked, try moving the carriage from one side to the other. If you cannot move the carriage easily with your hand, check for obstructions or additional paper. Once you've checked the carriage path and can move the carriage freely back and forth along the printer, check again for any paper scraps. In particular, look at the service station on the right-hand side of the printer. Remove any paper or scraps you find and then close the cartridge access door. Reconnect the power and ethernet or USB cable to the back of the printer. It should turn on automatically, but if it doesn't, press the power button. Note, the printer needs to warm up for up to two minutes, so let it complete the warm up. To test the printer at this stage, 
If the power light is on and steady, print a self-test page. Press the Setup button on the control panel. Use the arrows to select Print Report, select Self-Test Report, and then press OK. Wait for the printer to print the self-test page. If the printer prints the self-test page, you do not need to continue troubleshooting. Just reconnect the USB cable and make sure you can print from the computer. If the printer does not print the self-test or the power light is blinking with the carriage or paper stalled again, continue troubleshooting. At this point, we need to make sure the printer has enough power to function correctly. To do this, plug the printer directly into a wall outlet. Disconnect the printer power cord from any surge suppressors or power strips, and then plug it directly into a wall outlet. Note, any device between the wall outlet and the printer can limit the current getting to the printer. Too little electricity arriving at the printer may prevent the motor from having the power to move the carriage. Try to print again. If the print job is successful, the issue is resolved. If the issue is not resolved and the printer is still indicating a jam condition, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned the printer and what country you live in.